Hi. Jordan Lance. Jack Shade. Nice to meet you. So today we're going to be completing a complete ECG on you. We are going to be putting limb and chest leads throughout your whole torso. I'm going to put them up on your near your clavicles, your pectoral muscles, and your inguinal area. Okay. I will be rubbing you with gauze pads with alcohol on them. Are you allergic to gauze? No, I'm alcohol. No. What about latex gloves? No. Okay, so are you fine with me touching your torso? Yes. Okay. What you're going to need for a complete ECG is alcohol pads, gauze pads, rubbing alcohol, and tin leads. Your next step is to get rubbing alcohol and gauze pads and saturate your gauze pads with the rubbing alcohol and you want to rub and clean your patient until his skin turns red, like so. After cleaning all of the areas, this is the location of the six chest leads. V1 is in the fourth intercostal space. V2 is in the fourth intercostal space left of the sternum. V3 is the linear midpoint between V2 and V4. V4 is in the 5th intercostal space at the mid-clavicular mid line, and V5 is horizontally adjacent to V4 at the anterior axillary line, and V6 is horizontally adjacent to V5 at the mid-axillary line. The four yeah, limb leads are right so arm left arm, so right leg, left leg, leg, and the right leg is the ground. The next step in the process is getting the electrodes onto the leads. You find the placement by looking at the circle at the top of it and identifying and putting it onto the correct lead. On completing putting the electrodes on, this is what it's going to look like. The electrodes go and connect into the box that is connected to the computer that is going to give us all of our information. Your chest leads are going to look in a transverse planes and your limb leads are going to look in a sagittal plane. Alright, here we have Eindhoven's triangle and it's a description of the electrical potential looked at through multiple planes over the heart. Um, here you can see we have our right arm electrode, we have our left arm electrode, and we have our left leg electrode. There is a right leg electrode, but that is the ground lead, or the ground electrode, so it's not pictured here. Um, these three electrodes form a triangle and then end up creating six leads, or also called our limb leads. So we have limb one running across the chest, uh, limb two running down from the right arm to the left leg, and limb three running down from the left arm to the left leg. And then we also have these in the middle. Uh, we have AVR, AVL, and AVF, and this stands for uh, augmented vector right, augmented vector left, and augmented vector foot. So here we have our completed 12 lead EKG and over on limb 3 you can see we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 large block tall um, positive QRS deflection and that is the largest deflection out of any of the leads we have. We also, over on limb two, we have a one, two, three, four. So that is the around the second largest we have. And this is our total completed 12 lead EKG.